Platelets make up a very small amount of the blood, less than 1%. Platelets are cell fragments that circulate throughout the circulatory system. When they form a plug preventing blood loss, they also release chemicals which are involved in the blood clotting process as well as have local blood flow effect. In the event of vessel damage, platelets form a plug preventing or minimizing blood loss. Once platelets adhere to a site of damage, they can become very sticky and more platelets will adhere in a dog pile manner. This formation is called a platelet plug. Hemostasis is the process of blood loss prevention. There are three main phases. The first phase is the vascular phase, which reduces blood flow to the area of damage. This occurs by vasoconstriction as well as increasing the adhesion of the damaged endothelium to platelets floating by. The second phase involves platelets clumping together to form a platelet plug. The third phase is incredibly complex and involves two pathways. We will abbreviate the process of each of these pathways to only the end product. The extrinsic pathway is a chemical cascade that originates from chemicals released from the damaged vessel wall. The intrinsic pathway originates from the chemicals released from the platelet plug. Chemicals from both the damaged vessel wall or the extrinsic pathway and the platelet plug or the intrinsic pathway end up creating prothrombinase. The blood plasma contains a number of chemicals that are just waiting to be activated. Prothrombin is a chemical made by the liver that is always found in the blood. Calcium is an ion that is also circulating throughout the blood. When prothrombinase is formed by the extrinsic and intrinsic pathway, it combines with the prothrombin and calcium that is already in the blood. Thrombin is formed. Fibrinogen is another chemical made by the liver that is always found in the blood. The fibrinogen then combines with the newly formed thrombin to become fibrin. Fibrin is the tough strands that form a net which is the structure for the clot as it traps blood cells to help seal the vessel wall. Fibrin is fairly strong which provides support for the healing vessel wall as well as holding the blood cells together as a clot. Components that interfere with the clotting processes are aspirin, the drug Plavix, among others, the drug Coumadin and heparin. Each of these anticoagulants act on a different part of the clot formation pathway. Aspirin prevents platelets from clumping and therefore reduces the amount of prothrombinase that is created from the intrinsic pathway. Coumadin targets the large intestine, preventing the absorption of vitamin K. Vitamin K is important for the liver to make prothrombin. With less prothrombin available in the circulation, clot progression is severely hampered. This is why patients that are taking Coumadin must not eat vegetables that are high in vitamin K, such as leafy green vegetables, or that will override the effects of the drug. Heparin is also made by the liver and acts to inhibit thrombin, thus also reducing the fibrin formation. Heparin can also be given pharmaceutically to prevent clot formation. Fibrinolysis is a process that occurs naturally to remove the blood clot once it is no longer needed, such as after the vessel wall has been repaired. Plasminogen is a plasma protein that is always in the blood. It combines with any number of activators to form plasmin. Plasmin breaks down fibrin and therefore dissolves clots. There are so many ways to convert plasminogen to plasmin because they act not only to remove a clot when it is no longer needed, but also to prevent the inadvertent formation of unwanted clots. Pharmaceutical drugs can also be administered to break down clots in the event of a heart attack. Blood clot blocking a coronary artery or a stroke, which is a blood clot blocking a brain artery. Streptokinase is one drug that is made by streptococci bacteria that also act as a plasminogen activator forming plasmin. The naturally occurring tissue plasminogen activator has been made by the drug companies in large quantities to administer to patients. It functions just as the TPA that is already circulating in the body. It converts plasminogen to plasmin which breaks down the fibrin strands in clots.